Winning the Arab Clubs Champions Cup in the summer. They're still going strong in the AFC Champions League after the group stage, saying that cup success can lift the mood and reinvigorate their campaign. All and short of their own recent standards so far this season. 11th in the league at the moment after finishing... There's Igor Bishjan, the coach. <laughs> On the right-hand side, uh, Ivan Barton from El Salvador is the referee this evening. A traditional greeting between the two coaches. By referee Barton, and away we go. With Al Nasser in the yellow shirts, kicking from playing in the Arab Clubs Champions Cup, and it, it backfired pretty badly. And given how well Al Hilal have done, they've really been trying to play catch up all season. And then, of course, they lost the big game against them just over a week ago. Well, that's the, that's the case, isn't it? I think when you're coming up against the team, 10 minutes from the end, as uh, Garib sends it forward, chased by Mane, out comes Kim. And in the morning, yes, he's playing so higher than it, being advanced and we've just seen him just making them little and Radif wants it in the middle Radif almost sneaking in on goal there's an excellent ball as well played in Mullard he just played that ball in he just does really well at times he's run brilliantly Brilliant ball in still not away but it's very confidently nodded back there to uh getting well forward here be a free kick and conceded might need to be it's Ronaldo who strikes it and good save by Kim I'll tell you what it's not the bravest wall in the world is it by any stretch because I think it's in the midriff of the wall and it just splits quite quickly you'll see here which causes a problem that's a lovely play great feet from Garib still hasn't worked out though and uh, the ref's given a penalty to Al Shabab for the challenge on Yannick Carrasco just inside the box. Well, my first initial thought was something's happened quite quickly. To find out, it's Carrasco and it's a terrible penalty. He falls over and the ball ends up in the back of the stand rather than the a lovely ball in from Fafana. Good save by Kim. Fafana on the follow wasn't about to be denied at the second opportunity. Kim sung Yu making the save, but Fafana prevails, and having survived a penalty scare at one end, soon after, Al Nasser take the lead at the other. Well, we spoke about him, haven't we, just early on in the game. Of what he... Oh, so good. Is there enough on that pass to find Fahd al -Muala? There is. That's a decent delivery as well. was caught by uh, Al Mawalad there. Yellow card. Yes, and I think it's granted. I think it's a really good decision from... ...field, and now Cristiano Ronaldo into Garib. He'll take the return, and he'll miscue the shot, which is... ...Fafana into the box again, into Ronaldo! Kim with the save, and... Uh... Carrasco's delivery, and the header for the equaliser! What a big moment! Iago Santos. Carlos Jr. gets his head on that one. It's an absolute bullet of a header as well. I'm just quizzing how on earth he's got that much time. He hasn't even jumped for the ball. It's literally come. Otavio to his right, Gary to his left. He's gone for Otavio, who finds Mane. And it's a delightful goal from one end of the field to the other. Class for 2-1. Mane with the finish. He scored in every round. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to see counter-attacking football at its best, have a watch of this goal. This is Al Shabab having a corner. How they find him snag with Sultan Al Ganam. Here's Sekou Fafana. Whipping that one in. Al Ganam with the header. Here making tracks ahead. Passing towards Al Mawalat. It was almost there. And Al Katani just. <laughs> Al Akidi had to be very quick. quick to get off his line there to make the save. Roman Saiz gets the better of Ronaldo. 
at least halts their advances for a moment or two. Just keeping the ball, making home side work. Octavio floating it in towards Mane. I wonder what uh, Igor Bishchan makes of it so far. Time to engineer a chance before the break. Brozovic across! And it's in. 3-1. Abdulrahman Garib in the right place at the right time. And a tough tie has just got a whole lot more difficult for Al Shabab. Yeah, they've been quality at last 20 minutes or so. They've really forced the issue and made heart the pitch. I think sheer class has just rose to the top. Yeah, Al Nasser have just got that extra bit of quality. Garib thought he tidied up, but he's actually conceded possession in a dangerous position. And Carlos Junior earns the favour. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's some way wide of the goal. Well, there was a they haven't missed them, but as I say, they haven't ever spoken without him. Shot going wide from Yannick Carrasco. They have at least managed to get a goal tonight. They failed to do so in three of the previous four meetings with Al Nassar. And the, the, the left back is the player on the ground. The final tie, referee Barton is ready for the match to continue imminently. Majority of the people inside the stadium as Yannick Carrasco still goes. And finally, Laporte. Brings that formation pretty sharpish, which they've managed to do, but Mane is still giving them the slip. Create a spark. Roman Saiz gets a yellow card for his challenge on Seco Fafana. It was late as well. Roman Saiz, Saiz down the line there for Diallo. In behind Al Ghanam as the ball was fed forward in towards Carlos Al Nasser survive and Otavio is just held back there with a cynical foul that's a yellow card for uh, Al Khatani well, Carlos Jr just moments before where he had the opportunity Otavio beside himself with annoyance Yeah, try and combine it's into Ronaldo it's brilliant it's 4-1 Take another look at this, it's absolutely breathtaking, it really is. And I think I said that they didn't have to go and get that fourth goal. And I thought it would and should be inevitable that they do when you have a Cristiano Ronaldo on the pitch because he can create and cause manic in any single game. And as we said, didn't we? You know, he always wants to get on the score sheet no matter what. 4-0 when they met in the league at the back end of August. Al Nasser, the home team that day. Matan Babri with the return ball. Al Mawalad sending it back in and the header clear by Al Ghanam. In the game, early on in particular, where the home side really got about them, didn't they? And, and Shahili. Shahili, who had a couple of minutes in the round of 16 as well. Rare touch of the ball in the second half there for... Again, he wants another goal, doesn't he? <laughs> More pressure here for Al-Shabaab to deal with. And Ronaldo whips that one in venomously. And Mohamed Miran on to replace him. Still plugging away, a decent effort, and uh, the save. And Hatem Babri is there. And Al-Shabaab do have a second goal on the night just moments after the uh, unexpected half opportunity that befell to the uh, got the better of ever Benega he's got the pace to, to beat him and try and set it up for number five brilliantly done